let us calculate our next value and that is going to be ibtada that is EBITDA earnings before interest and tax and depreciation and amortization and this time I'm going to use a little different approach and the approach will be since we already have the gross profit value that we have calculated I will simply deduct the operating expenses from the gross profit and we should have our ibtada so if I take you to my chart of accounts you can see we already have our gross profit that is the net of this area so i will say please uh, you know where the subclass is operating expenses also deduct that value and that will bring me my ibtada so let us go to our main sheet here and i will say uh, let us go to you know a new measure and in this new measure uh, let us first of all rename it as ebitda and let me increase the size of my window as well as my font and now i will say please first of all let us recall the gross profit so we have the gross profit here in our formula and i will say plus now of course you know we have to deduct our expenses but since our expenses in my data are already in negative so that will automatically the plus minus will automatically become a minus so i'm using the plus sign here in the formula now i have to you know deduct my operating expenses but now the problem is operating expenses value has nowhere been defined in my data right so that is just a total number that has been defined in the or all the values in the data operating expenses are not defined so we have to you know calculate that so i will say calculate the function that is calculate function of tax and i will say first of all please bring in the total value but then apply the filter and that filter is going to be on subclass and I will say please only uh, you know a filter data where subclass equals operating expenses close the inverted commas close the bracket let us check the formula and let us do some number formatting with no decimal and comma separation that looks okay and I will press okay and you can see that it has been added to my data so if i simply scroll down you can uh, okay so i will now you know bring in my ibtada from here to my pivot table so i will search it here and you can see this already has been added i will drag it down and now you can see i have my values and if i can cross check 1147805 and 2237006 so i have correctly calculated my ibtada as well now the next thing is the next item that we need to calculate is operating profit and since you already have your ibtada the only thing that we need to do is you know using a very similar approach we will say using the ibtada only deduct in depreciation and amortization as well and you will have your answer let us do that so i will go to my chart of accounts to show you so i will say also deduct the depreciation and amortization in the subclass so let us add a new measure so in the power pivot i will say measure and new measure and first of all name it as operating profit and let me increase the size here also increase the font size and now first of all let us recall the ibtada and i will say plus calculate total value where subclass equals equals depreciation and amortization okay close the inverted commas close the bracket check the formula and do the number formatting and then you know just press ok and it should add the operating profit for you and this time since i was already in the pivot table it will straightforward add the you know the uh, the value here and if i just scroll down since i already have my operating profit you can cross check the values and you can see we have the same values for operating expenses as well now the next two values are going to be pbit and net profit and i would recommend that you know you first calculate that values yourself using the similar techniques and then we can we can check our answers in the next lecture let us do that.